I'm trying to power up here. Some coffee. I'm hopefully waiting for some people to, to join. Hopefully people join soon because I want to start talking already. So I'm waiting for a few more people to join real quick and then I'm going to make my video. So sorry guys, hopefully you guys are staying on. All right, so what's going on guys? I am at the Alexa right now hosting an open house. Very boring, I know, blah, blah, blah. No one wants to go to your open house, Andres. That's okay. It's going to be from 12 to 4, so you should come. It's pretty awesome. But I wanted to make a video and I was going to make it on my uh, other sales page, which is the uh, Jiu Jitsu Salesman. So if you're not following that page, you should because I'm going to be going live on there hopefully soon to give you guys some more tips for those of you that are in sales or real, real estate sales. Um, so I just had a really, really good interaction with a set of buyers who came in. And a lot of times as agents, right, we struggle with um, sometimes some agents, some of them are better than others, but we struggle with converting buyers at open houses because we all we make it so awkward. Uh, and what I mean by we make it awkward is that uh, we'll ask the question, oh, uh, do you have a buyer's agent? That's a very, uh, that's a question that really starts to make a lot of tension when you're talking to buyers because then they start feeling like, oh, this person wants me to commit to them. And, and a lot of people have issues with commitment, right? No one wants to commit to a membership for a year at a gym. No one wants to know the minute you start to talk to someone, you know, romantic relationship, and it's something, you know, that you're going to be serious. Some people get a little bit scared and they don't want to talk about it. And the same thing with agent or buyers coming in. Oh, no, I have a buyer. I have a I have an agent already. I don't need you to help me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think that that's the wrong approach, right? You should not you should not really approach a buyer saying, oh, do you have a buyer's agent? Because I would like to help you out because that makes things very uncomfortable, right? And that's not how it should be organically. So when you're, you're at an open house and you're hosting an open house and you're having buyers come in, I never ask if they have an agent because I don't really care if they do because that doesn't necessarily mean that they're not open to working with someone else who's gonna be able to give them the results that they're looking for. So with that being said, a couple came in at the Alexa. I was talking to them. What's your name? Let me tell you a little bit about the Alexa. Talk to them about it. And then just having conversations with them. So sales is nothing else but having conversations and asking the right questions to get you the information that you need to ask the follow-up questions after that. All right, so I had a question, a conversation with them. They were here. They're like, oh, we're looking to buy. You know, we're, uh, we're empty nesters. We're looking to downsize. That's a very important piece of information. Uh, that that wouldn't that question or that answer wouldn't have come if I didn't ask them, do you guys own or do you rent right now? That's a very important question to ask for buyers who are coming into your open house. Do you guys own or do you rent? It's a very simple question. Oh, we own. Okay, they own and they're looking to buy. Follow-up question to that would be, or you guys are looking to buy, are you guys going to sell that property to use the proceeds to purchase this one? Yes, no, is the house on the market, blah, blah. Like these are just general questions. I'm not looking to list their house right now. I'm just looking to get information on what they're gonna be doing moving forward with this one. And then now as I start to figure out what they're looking for, right? So they, they said that they love the units at the Alexa. They're great. They just feel like it's a lot of space for them, especially because they're looking to downsize. They're looking to get something a little bit smaller and they don't need all of the stairs, all of the extra space. And then, you know, really to be paying what they're paying in taxes. We know Bergen County taxes typically tend to be high and, and that's something that you can't really avoid. So with that being said, I had this entire conversation with them about what they're looking for. Okay. And then I said, oh, that's great. So you, you want a, maybe a two-story uh, condo or two-story townhome that you're looking to purchase. Uh, what areas are you looking into? Oh, we're looking into this and this and this. And this. I said after, after they said, oh, we're looking at, um, you know, North Hilden, we're looking at uh, some areas in Montvale, we're looking at this. When you, when you start choosing these areas for them, what I said to them was said, oh, that's excellent. Okay, so we know what areas that we like, or we know the areas that offer some of the units that we're looking for. Why don't I do this? If you tell me what areas you're interested in, I can start to market to those areas to try to see if I can get a seller who's looking to sell in that area, so long as we're okay with the price, right? We're not going to overpay for a home in that area. And I hope that the seller understands that as well. We give them a price that they're willing to accept. We offer a price that we're willing to pay for. And then we make a deal happen. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds fantastic. Okay, perfect. So look, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do some research. I'm going to find some other areas that you might be interested in. I'm going to send them over to you. 
See if you like them, see if they make sense, if they fit the, the areas that you wanna be in and they offer the stuff that you're looking for. Let me know if they do and then I can start to market to those areas too. In the meantime, I'll look into the areas that you mentioned and then see if I can start to get any interest from sellers who are looking to sell. And they said, oh, perfect. And I, what's your email? I wanna maybe share some stuff with you over email so that you can take a look at some of the areas that you, I think you might be interested in. Oh, my email is blah, 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 blah. And that's it, right? So now inadvertently, they told me all of this information of what they're looking for. I told them I'm gonna follow up and send. So I'm creating value where I can offer a service to them. I can get them what they're looking for, the results that they want. And I didn't ask them, hey, do you wanna work with me? I told them, hey, we're gonna work together on this. And I did it very, uh, very discreetly, very almost like so calm, so soothing. I didn't say, oh, do you need a buyer's agent? Do you need an agent to help you? Do you need someone to, to help you look at houses? No, I just said, hey, look, what are you looking for? Okay, what we can do because we're looking for something very specific is we can start to target these. I'm offering value and that's what you need to do as someone who's a salesperson is show that you have a value in what you're doing. Not say, hey, I can help you. Say, this is how I'm going to help you and then tell them. Okay, so that's what I think you should do when you're trying to convert buyers because believe it or not, if you can convince someone that you bring more value than someone else who they're currently working with, do you think they're gonna stay with that person if they realize the person that they're talking to is offering more value than the person that they were working with? Absolutely, they're gonna leave them because you're, you're creating the value for them. That's what I wanna leave you guys with. Again, if you're not following the uh, jujitsu, it's not the jujitsu, it's at jujitsu salesman. If you're not following that page, I suggest you follow them because it is me. And I'm gonna be making more uh, content on sales, particularly uh, announcements on different workshops that I'm gonna be doing. So I strongly encourage you guys to go ahead and do that. Uh, follow them because I'm gonna be going live on that page and not on this one. Uh, with that being said though, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I do see someone coming and walking up right now, so I can't stay on much longer, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and stay tuned for more. Make sure to follow that other page. The workshop, by the way, uh, For Sale by Owner Workshop, Saturday, January 28th, 10 to 12 p.m. Make sure you get your tickets because it's gonna be amazing, I'm telling you right now.